as the title of this video says, like, I don't know what I'm going to call it, French, Swiss lady, whatever. First school trip outside of England, and it was to Switzerland for a week. Where you got your food and drink, obviously they had breakfast, lunch and dinner served for you, but if you wanted anything else like snacks and stuff, there was a little shop on the um, actual place where we were staying. And this little old woman, she probably had like, she had like no idea on how to speak English. I, I doubt she can speak any English. So every time you went there, you always had the money that, you know, you worked it out when you were buying it. So say you wanted a Coke for like one euro thirty, you know, you would always get one euro thirty so that like, when she, when you had to go over to her, she'd you'd just sort of smile at her and then be like, yeah, this is my money, just, just take it. <laughs> this one time I was getting my stuff and then all of a sudden, like, I only knew a little bit of French. It, like, I'd done one year of French, so the only things I pretty much knew how to say, because I knew I wasn't going to take French or GCSE. So the only thing that I took you know, the only things I actually cared about in my French sessions was bonjour, uh, which is hello, uh, salut, which is hi, and then j'habite, and wherever you live, so j'habite à I live in St. Ives. <laughs> They're the only three things in French I actually know. <laughs> so, she's like, oh, comment tapo too, that's another one. I don't know what it means, but I know it. So she's like, blah, 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 Like, I literally just handed her the money. I was just like, I was, you know, so it's, she's at this little counter thing and stuff, like you get in a normal shop. She's sitting there, and I just, like, put my hand up to her, uh, to her. All of a sudden, she was, blah, 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 And I'm literally just there, like, just take my money. See, I had no idea what this lady had just said to me. Um... So, normally in the UK, if you don't know what anyone says to you, you just sort of smile and wave. So instead of just like, you know, I was like, okay, Switzerland is close to France. I'm assuming in Switzerland they speak French. So say something in French. And the only things I knew how to say in French were those three things. So instead of being the smart person and just saying like, hi, and just said it in English, do you speak English? <laughs> that would have made a bit more sense. Should have gone. Let's see, you're going that way. I could have sworn I had my indicator on. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I should have just said, "Do you speak English?" Like, and that. So I just literally, I'm staring at her, like, I don't know how to say your language. Uh, and I'm, I literally just have, I'm, I'm looking at her like dead straight eyed, just staring at her, holding up my hand. I'm literally frozen, and I'm just like, uh, uh think of something, think of something to say. So I literally just go, Shabita Sondiv. What a legend. Classic pet, so it's so funny. So I literally just go, Shabita Sondiv. But literally, the way I said it, I was so proud because I thought I was saying something smart. Like she looked at me like I was actually insane. And it's so funny because then I just gave her the money, she gave me the change and nothing else was said. We just sort of looked at each other. No, no verbal communication after that. And then I just walked out. But the way I then walked out, I was so proud because I thought I'd done something smart. Like, I literally had my shoulders back, I was head up high, I was like having my arms swinging from left to right, like really proudly and my fists clenched, like coming up to my chest sort of thing, doing that. I just walked out like so proud because that was the longest thing in French I could say. 
and I had no idea how to speak French or Swiss or whatever. I'm assuming the Swiss people speak French. You know, but um and oh it was just like after that it was just so awkward, like she was probably saying like, hello, one pound no one euro twenty please. So are you enjoying your holiday? And then the response she gets in a foreign language is I live in St. Ives. <laughs> like, she must have been like, okay, just take the drink and leave. <laughs> That's what she must have been thinking. Oh dear. And when I say really hot, I don't mean like stupidly hot, I just mean oh, for fuck's sake. first time I stalled it. It's actually the first time I've stalled it since I've had it. 